Good morning and welcome back to the car closet. I miss you guys while I was gone for a minute. And I wanted to just give you encouragement and hope this morning. And um, that would just bless your life and your children's lives. Thank you everybody for that call and checked up on me. And gave me words of encouragement. And this morning, your word for today. And I asked this before. But who knows how to get the word to turn where the screen, where to show it. Where you guys can see it. Because I don't know if you can see it. It looks backwards to me. But you probably can see it different. Hopefully you can. But your word for today is patience. 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 That's your word for today. Patience. Patience. Okay. And patience. When you think about patience. It's like. That means you have to wait. And when you're waiting. That is one of the words that we don't like. We don't like that because we don't like to wait. We want to. We want everything to be in a hurry. You know, we want everything to be right now. But everything is not going to be right now in your life. You know, when we look back over our life and we see throughout our life, there were times we have to wait. For example, let's say you go in the store, right? You in the line. And you in the line... You in the line waiting to bring up your stuff. You know, you waiting in the line. And so while you're waiting in the line, sometimes there are long lines. So and so there's somebody in front of you. but the, And there's some people after you. But you're still waiting in the line. You have to wait your turn. You don't jump around. Sometimes people do. They jump around and they skip. <laughs> but in other words, when we're in the store and we're waiting when it's crowded, Sometimes it can become weary because we're waiting. Oh, I don't want to be standing here or whatever the case may be. I'm ready to go. You ready to go. But while you're waiting, you don't know God just kept you from an accident while you're waiting. So while it seems extended, that same person that came and just skipped, instead of fussing with the person, look at it like this. Okay. And I know sometimes we say, okay, well, dog, they just came up. But we, what we don't see is God is blocking. He's holding us. From whatever's trying, whatever may could have happened. Not saying that, that that's that not the only thing, because not to walk around and fear or anything like that. But it's just that God knows where you need to be, what you need to be, because He orders our steps. And so He has perfect timing for every situation. And so it's patient. And so sometimes, even in life, we want everything done in a hurry. I want it done right now. I want to do that. I want to take care of this. I want to take care of that. And so there's no waiting. We don't want to wait. We don't want to wait. But in life, you're not going to get everything done right then. That's not that's not reality. And so when we face a reality, we get to understand that there are going to be times we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait. And so when we're waiting, we're waiting, but we're, we're still taking care of business, doing what we have to do when we're waiting. And it seems like it just keeps sliding. Need a camera person to get this together. And so, when we're waiting, we're not just sitting there, oh, oh, no. While you're waiting, you're doing what you need to do to take care of business. Why are you waiting? And so, in the waiting period, sometimes, sometimes you're waiting a long time. Sometimes you're waiting a long time. Sometimes you're praying a long time. Does not mean it's not going to happen. And so, that's when we get caught up. Especially as Christians, because we feel that once we're saved or once, well, we talked to God about something and it didn't happen right then. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It's just going to happen in his time. See, God is going to perfect the things that concerns us in his time because he already knows the plans he has for us. He knows the thoughts that are towards us, thoughts of peace and goodness to give us the future that we hope for. So God already knows. See, his, his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. God doesn't think like us. So he's going to do everything in his time. But we have to be patient. We have to be patient. We have to be patient in everything. So we have to show patience and maintain patience and don't give up. Don't give up and don't lose heart. And don't think that God doesn't see. Because your ladder shall be greater than your former. You may not have started out right, but you can show it. It's, it gave me some signal that it was uh, 
I, it had a poor signal or something like that. So I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. And this word been on me heavy for from last week. So somebody needs to hear this word this morning about patience because we've not waited or we may have been waiting and we feel, well, okay, this time is up. But we don't get to dictate to God when what time it is. See, we're not living in a microwave situation where we can just pop it in the microwave, boom, and it comes out, it's done. We got to wait. Sometimes you got to put something in the oven, huh? And don't put it too high because now you burn it up. And so let, me, let me pause right here. Sometimes we want to rush things because, well, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But God is saying, wait. He's saying, wait, wait, wait. Be patient. It's not time yet. Just wait. Just wait. I know you're ready to go for it right now, but wait. Wait. And so, when we, when we, look like everything trying to come this morning. Everything trying to come this morning. To stop me from talking about patience. But the devil is a lie this morning. Somebody need to hear this word. On patience. 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 And so we need to be patient. Huh? Because, Oh, well, I've been waiting for a long time. I know, me too. Me too. But we have to be patient. We have to continue to be patient. Huh? Wait patiently on the Lord. Don't, don't move too fast because when you move too fast, that's when you mess up. That's when you mess up. When you move too fast. Huh? Because when I look back over my life, the times that I move too fast, that's when I mess up. Not being patient. Not maintaining patience. So today is your day to have patience. So I wanted to encourage you in that. I wanted to encourage you in that patience. Patience. I know you've been waiting a long time. I know you've been praying a long time, but still maintain patience. Because guess what? God is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. But he's long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but all sinners that will come into repentance. But God is not slack. In other words, if God promised you something, it's going to come to pass. And it's not going to come to pass in the time you say, because when you put it in, you want to put it in the microwave and snap your finger. Well, I want it right now. Okay, well, I'm ready to go right now. But God is saying, wait. He's saying, wait. It's not time yet. Just wait. Hold on and let me do it how I'm going to do it. Not how you want to do it. See, we get ahead of God. And when I look back over my life, and if you stop and think and look back over your life, the time that you did not wait and have patience, that's the time when something messed up because you move too fast. huh? I say we move too fast. But if we would have waited a little while longer, we don't know what God is doing. So allow God to do his work. Let him have his perfect work because he's going to perfect the things that concern us. Huh? That we may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. So let him, let him do his perfect work. And be patient. Be patient. And wait. 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 See, when we're patient, we're trusting in him. When we're patient, we're saying, okay, I'm trusting in you, God. I'm trusting in you. I'm not, I'm not trusting in my own ability. I'm not trusting in somebody else's ability. I'm trusting in what you, what your word tells me to do. And so at the appointed time, God know what to do. Job went through, he lost everything that he had. He lost his children, all his children. Then his wife told him to curse God and die. But he maintained patience. He was going through sickness in his body. So what is it? Sickness in your body. When you don't have health, you don't have nothing. Had sickness in his body, but he kept on praising God, kept on worshiping God, kept on persevering. So you may be in a situation right now that may be you, but be patient because your ladder is going to be greater than the former. Job, God blessed Job's ladder in than it the, than the was than the before. He gave him double for his trouble because he continued to serve God and he was patient. Amen. So continue to be patient. I'm just on that today. Be patient. Be patient. I know you ready. I know you ready to go. I know you standing at the gate. Soon as they say go, you ready to go. But be patient. God haven't sent the signal yet. He haven't, he haven't fired the weapon yet to say on your mark, get set, go. So wait. 
Wait, I say on the Lord. Huh? Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen our heart. I waited patiently on the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry and brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. Father God, we just come before you today, Lord God. I come before you, Lord, giving you praise, Lord God. I come giving you glory. I come giving you honor. I come giving you your due, Lord God. And we thank you, Jesus, right now, Lord God, that you were patient, Lord, that you endured trials. You endured affliction. You, did, you endured discouraging. You endured the mocking you, Lord. You endured them spitting on you and putting you down and calling you a wine bib and all its foolishness, Lord, when you are the greatest one, Lord God, and you never sin, Lord God, and you endured hardship as a good soldier, like you told us to do, Lord God. So, Father God, we just thank you, Lord God, that you endured, Lord. Help us, Lord God, to follow your example, but continue to endure, Lord God, so that we can obtain the crown of life. Help us, oh Jesus, to be patient, Lord God. Help us to be patient in tribulation, Lord God. Help us to be patient. Help us to wait on you, Lord God, in every situation, Lord. Even when we're ready, Lord God. Father God, help us to hold, Lord God, and wait, Lord God, to wait and to trust in you, Lord, that you have perfect timing, Lord, that your timing is perfect in every situation. So help us, Father God, to be patient, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to continue to trust you, Lord, in spite of what we don't see, Lord God. Help us to trust you, Lord God, and lean not to our own understanding. But if in all our ways we acknowledge you, you'll direct our path. So we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you help us to be patient, Lord. Even, Lord God, when we're asking and we're ready to go, Lord God, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus that you help us to be patient, Lord. You know the thoughts that you have for us, thoughts of peace and thoughts of goodness to give us the future that we hope for. So help us to be patient, Lord God. Help us, Father God, to be patient in all things, Lord God, so that you can perfect the good work in us, Lord God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, love is patient. Love is kind, Lord. It's not proud and doesn't boast itself up, Lord God. It's not envious, not keeping a record of right and wrong, Lord God. Father God, help us to be patient, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just pray right now, Father God, that your word manifest in our life, Lord God, and it goes forth, Lord God, that we will be patient, that we will not move too fast, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We just pray, Father God, that we will wait one, wait, wait, say one more prayer, Lord God. We pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we will wait one more time, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we give you one more day, Lord God. We just pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we will be patient. Hallelujah. We'll be patient because we know our ladder shall be greater than the former, Lord God. It's what you said in your word. So we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you infuse us, Lord God, with patience, Lord God, that we will wait, I say, on you and be patient. Hallelujah. Be patient. Patience. Your word for the day is patient. Don't move too fast. Don't get in a hurry. Be patient. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Don't be in a hurry. Most of the people that are in accidents, they get in an accident because they're in a hurry. Be patient. Amen. It's my sincere prayer. So go forth and know that your word for today is patience. Amen. Be blessed. Thank you all so much for continuing to comment, share, and like the videos. Be blessed.